Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be absolutely roasting, absolutely cooking some cyber security CVs today. Today we're just going to be doing a cyber security CV review um, in hopes of helping you land your next cyber job or land any job in tech, right? So first of all, my name is C. I've been in cyber security for around three years now, but I also help a lot of people land a job within cyber security. So hopefully you guys can get some tips, guidance, or any takeaways um, in hopes of helping you land something within the near future so sit down and let's get straight into it okay, boom so we're here let's have a look at some of these cvs first one okay first of all why is your i'm assuming this is your home address your residence you need to put your exact address um, on your CV. You can just put like the area you're based in. So whether it's Joburg or Pretoria or wherever. Maybe I'd say add your LinkedIn at the top somewhere here. And then next to your name, I'd also add the position just so that when someone quickly skims through your CV, they know which um, position or which role the CV is targeted towards. And then um, summary. Yeah, I feel like this could be definitely more optimized towards uh, cybersecurity. Uh, maybe lean less on your IT support experience, then lean more into um, how that IT ex support experience could um, bring value towards a cybersecurity role. Work experience. Okay, so basically it just seems like you're listing what you did, not exactly the, the impact or the value you brought to the team or organization. Yeah, I'll just lead with what impact and value you brought to the team instead of just looking at what you did exactly. Let's move on to this education section. So education, yeah, so you got your diploma in IT support um, from Allison. I think, I believe Allison is actually um, a course provider, not necessarily a, a diploma. I have to re, I have to go and confirm that, Allison. Yeah, Allison is a course provider, not necessarily a so a diploma course is not necessarily the same as um so maybe this should be under courses and skills yeah the skills look decent um i support system admin networking api campaign testing run bullet assessment track me labs complete which track me labs did you complete you know and what do they teach you languages um that's fine to be fair as long as you can speak english and communicate well in english then you should be good i am sorry I am sorry, I don't speak English. Very good. But I am speaking English 50-50. Uh, certifications, Allison IT support and cybersecurity diplomas, pursuing CompTIA Security Plus. Maybe add a date as to when you when you when you're gonna write or when you would achieve it. Maybe just say you can say Jan 2026. Awards and activities, computer track me CTFs, CCST with Cisco an IC2 learning path. Um, I'd rather you maybe showcase the IC2 CC certification, IC2 learning path. I mean, which for which course or which certification did you do the learning path for IC2? That's like saying I did a CompTIA learning path. Yeah, but for which certification, you know? References available on request. I think you should say upon request. There are no projects here, first of all. Uh, number two, maybe add more certifications, more industry relevant certifications. So uh, maybe look at the IC2 CC, so that's the certified in cyber security. And then um, fix up the summary, um, just add some minor touches that I spoke about here. So that's the first one. Let's move on to the next. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the second one. First of all, again, Direct home address. So this guy lives in Sunning Hill, Johannes Johannesburg. Could you say Johannesburg? Things are so bad that you wanna wake up our ancestors to come and see for themselves what shame they have left us with. Education, BCom, specializing in information systems from UP. He's um, obviously wasted a lot of time and money into that. So maybe go into more depth um, as to what you did within your degree, what skills did you pick up, or, or projects projects that you do. I don't think you necessarily need to add your high school certificate. I don't think you need to add that, uh, but yeah. 
volunteer experience, okay, something different. So you got mostly community service. I don't mind this being here as long as it's towards the bottom, to be honest with you. Um, again, when someone's looking at your profile, then uh, evaluate whether you're a great fit for IT or cybersecurity role. So the volunteer experience is just like um, an icing on the cake, right? Licenses and certifications. Okay, so you got Microsoft Digital Literacy, okay, Free Code Academy, and behavior aspects of well, management, project management, whatever. So we basically have zero industry recognized certifications. Oh. You don't have anything. No, you don't have anything. No, no, no. no you, you don't, don't have, have anything. anything. You are empty and empty and empty. This is, this is uh, very much underwhelming in terms of certifications, competencies, and skills. Uh, proficient in C Sharp, HTML, CSS, Microsoft Office Suite, Project Management, .NET, SQL. Uh, uh, these skills are not necessarily relevant to cybersecurity. Obviously, maybe your coding skills could help, but there's there's nothing of substance regarding cybersecurity. Maybe you can add like incident response or, or CIM, EDR. You know the stuff you do on these learning platforms such as Try Me Right or your Inmap, Splunk, all these labs that you're doing. They count as skills, especially if you've been working with them for a lot of rooms or for a while, you know, just add them there. For this CV, very, very much underwhelming. You have zero projects again, basically zero certification. These are all Mickey Mouse courses, volunteer experience, lovely stuff, but that has to go towards the bottom. Elaborate on your degree, I guess. I mean, you spend so much time and money, so talk about what you did there. Um, remove your home address, please. We don't know where you stay. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. Otherwise, let's go on to the next one. Cool. So we have another one, junior cybersecurity analyst, Cape Town, South Africa. Perfect. Got the email, got the LinkedIn, even got the GitHub. Cool. Then we got the profile summary. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Experience. Um, I like the fact that you led with your boot camp experience, even though it's not like a job experience, but again, it does count experience doing all those projects and those labs and working with key cybersecurity tools like you listed out here. So great, great, great stuff. And then you got your customer service agent experience at that specific institution. Just shows that you're able to you know, deal with customers, but it looks, seems a bit like IT support my side and let's move on to the education education you got the boot camp again and then we got the cput interior design diploma it says you're incomplete so you didn't finish if you didn't finish i'd rather you remove it so if you dropped out of a degree you didn't finish your diploma just leave it out because then why are you putting it on there save some space there so all of this has to go take it down take it down take it down we need it gone Projects, I love this. I'm not gonna click on these links. The only thing that I would say for the projects just um, be just go into more depth as to what impact, what value this project um, brought, right? But yeah, add more cybersecurity projects. The About Me webpage, add the link to your website on your LinkedIn profile and people can just go ahead and click there. And the projects should just be strictly high value, high impact cybersecurity projects. So this one here, penetration testing and vulnerability assessments project using Kali Linux. Again, just go more in depth about what you did, what tools you use, what's the impact, and then try to shorten the link as well. Skills, seems decent, I guess. Soft skills, yeah, you can have those. It's, it's hard to measure soft skills, but I, I don't think that they will necessarily take away from your CV if you add them there. Accomplishments, uh, okay, that's a new one. Successfully applied analytical skills from customer service to identify and resolve cybersecurity cybersecurity issues. How do you do that? <laughs> Computer online courses in Python, can Linux and network security to build foundational cybersecurity knowledge. That's good, not necessarily an accomplishment. Uh, so actually this whole section might as well just remove it. <laughs> references, references are available, no. They're available upon request, not on request. English. Emotional, damn it. So yeah, I said a lot about this one. It's actually quite, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. It's not too bad. It just needs to be optimized again. Okay, we have another one here. This one is all over the place. I 
Luna Marlu Luna Carly do Coponiana, Luna Carly Awaban. First of all, you don't have to give us your home address. Just put the general area. You could have just said Cape Town and kept it moving. The whole formatting of everything that's going on here is, is just thrown in the bin at this point. Like Absolutely disgusting, by the way. I almost puked, but let me stay focused. I don't like it at all. Keep the formatting simple. Okay, objective. Change that to a summary. I would like to be considered a worthy candidate for this, for this position. Yeah, seems like you're begging there. What? What did he say? What? No, no, just, I think just rewrite this whole thing. Just keep it nice and short. Education, so there's high school there. Then obviously the UCT degree. Then you've got all the CompTIA certs. You've got the IC2 certs, you've got the Cisco Duo. What the, what's Cisco Duo? Give me a second. Uh. Oh, I think it's a good one. The format is nice. Like the previous ones, they had the sections, um, stacked vertically so you'd have your education and experience then skills at the bottom then within your degree especially if you don't have a lot of job experience within cyber security if you go more in depth within your degree section which skills which projects did you do then that would be very very much beneficial but for you it seems like you've had over a year of hands-on experience in cyber security so keep the well, education sections shorter then under the education section would be the certification section so we're separating them and then experience so it says trainee security engineer at whatever company then security engineer one at at the same company so you can't just put the title and company there just go more in depth i would say key skills i think this could be optimized yeah just redo this whole section so you can say ethical hacking then you can say web security python you can just say programming there's a huge gap here. This format is horrible. That's fine. Again, I have a debate about whether to put soft skills on your CV. It's kind of hard to gauge that, but I mean, the year, but the formatting is, I think, the worst I've seen. The formatting is the biggest, biggest hindrance to the CV, please choose that up. Okay, let's do a, another one. So we have here this person. So there's a name and then they don't put the position that they're going for. Summary, let's take a look at the summary. I like this a lot. I'm not gonna read through all of this, but it's very brief to the point and it talks about where they're coming from and what they've done, right? So very, very cool stuff. Work experience, I like this, I like this. This is, this is clean, this is clean. The formatting is clean. Talks about what they did, the impact, the value that they brought to the team. So very, very cool stuff. I like this. This is this is perfect, right? Shows that even if you didn't have direct cybersecurity role experience, um, you're able to translate uh, translate your previous experience and showing what you did within a cybersecurity manner. Cool education. Got the BSc in computer sciences and information sciences in app development. Great stuff. And you can see uh, this person again went more in depth uh, about what they did with this degree. Then here we have the CH. So this person um, is currently enrolled within the CH course. I wouldn't necessarily put this under the education section, maybe under a certification section. I like to separate higher education from certifications. But yeah, again, they went more in depth about what they did. So great stuff there. Then additional information, get technical skills. This looks good to me. So great stuff there. Soft skills. I debate having this on the CVs, but you have it. Looks good to me. I like the fact that you added um, hacker mindset here at the end from CH. Yeah, and then re references available upon request. So someone who knows how to use the English language. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. So I think that's it for from part one. I realized that this video is going to be quite long if I go on and on and on. If you guys would like a part two, if you guys would like me to continue, please say so. If you need help um, with your CV or breaking into cybersecurity or joining your community of people who are actively breaking into cybersecurity, young ambitious people um, who are really, really pushing cybersecurity, please um, apply in the link down below. Check out the Hacking Hub website um, and then we'll get back to you if um, you qualify. Otherwise, 
Thanks for watching this video. Appreciate it and see you next time.